Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar. I would like to uh, introduce uh, the participants on ProSec side to this webinar today. Uh, my name is Ramin Eskandari, I'm the head of uh, Global Sales and Marketing, and I am joined uh, today by Christoph Renner on my uh, left-hand side, who is in product management, responsible for UCI, and Ali Reza Akhlari, who is in uh, global marketing. And the three of us will uh, uh, guide you through um, the um, webinar today. Uh, just a few words on the agenda. After a um, short introduction, which is now uh, coming uh, almost to an end, uh, Christoph will tell you more about the UCI test principle, uh, for those of you who, who do not know this method yet. Um, most importantly then, we will cover how the ProSec UCI product, the Ecotip UCI, is very unique. Uh, what are the unique selling propositions? What are the benefits uh, for you? Uh, what differences does it, does it make in, in your daily uh, processes in terms of measuring uh, hardness? Uh, we will then go into the applications, selected applications, the most uh, popular applications for UCI. This will be done by my colleague uh, Ali. And then uh, after the applications, I will come back in and tell you more about the pricing, uh, the after sales service, and uh, marketing material and channels, which you can, you can see the product and also events. And finally, at the end, we will have our Q&A session, as mentioned where uh, you can ask uh, any, anything you would like. Uh, and Christoph, Ali, and myself will be answering those questions then. So very important now in terms of um, um, why is the Ecotip UCI unique? Uh, why is our offering unique here? Uh, first of all, um, as you can see on the slide, the after-sales service and the support that ProSec provides you is a best in class in the market. Uh, should you purchase the product? Um, after, of course, we do product demonstration. During the purchase process, we assist you in any questions you may have. After you have purchased the products, we continue to be here for you. If you have any problems, you can uh, send it back to one of our subsidiaries, to the certified service centers that we have worldwide. We offer local support. Then. What um, we have here is an all-in-one testing solution. That means that with the platform, with the indicating device that we have, you can use a Leap uh, impact device, you can use a portable Rockwell, you can use a UCI, and switch between these very seamlessly and very easily. Uh, in terms of costs, uh, you have one indicating device and different probes. So not many indicating devices. This lowers significantly than the cost of ownership for you. Uh, less investment and the investment is, is uh, protected. Uh, in terms of quality, it's a very rugged probe. Uh, we have um, uh, gone through a large amount of uh, testing um, to, 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 to really make sure that once you have this product, you do not have any problems with, with the repeatability. It's really exceptional. And one of the features which Christoph and Ali will go through is the variable test load, which can be set electronically. Uh, you can change this depending on your application. Again, here, like what I mentioned earlier with the all-in-one portable solution, with the variable test load, you do not need several probes. It's in the same probe and it can be set electronically. Finally, for the applications, uh, the, the, the application that is the most popular for UCI is the heat affected zone, but also for other applications, we offer wizards, we offer software uh, tools which facilitate the process. So increase in productivity on your side, better reporting, uh, better communi communication in terms of communication of the results, to the different uh, uh, people in your organization who are responsible, who would like to see the results. Again, here, uh, Christoph and Ali will give you more details how this is best in class with the new Ecotip UCI. You can see here the probe. Uh, you have, we have a live uh, demo uh, later on uh, where you will, you will see it in action. 
Um, so talking about this, uh, now let's, let's move to the UCI test principle. Um, Christoph, could you please take over? Thank you very much for the introduction, Ramin. Um, yeah, warm welcome also from my side. Uh, now let's have a look at the UCI test principle. So UCI, the three letters, stands for ultrasonic contact impedance, and this describes the method already quite well. So the instrument works with a resonating rod, which you can see on the, on the top of the probe, and there a wicker diamond is, uh, is mounted and forced into the material to do the hardness test. Um, unlike the wickers or the stationary wickers hardness test, UCI is a uh, measuring a frequency shift and the frequency shift is measured from the zero frequency when the probe is not in touch with the material and when the test load is applied. For the test load there are different loads used in the, for the different applications. You have already mentioned this, that there are different test loads available. Um, our probe is special as we have uh, adjustable test load other probes are usually with one certain test load, but then there are different versions available with the different test loads. Usually these loads are going from uh, HV1, or 10 newtons approximately, up to 50 newtons or HV5. Once the frequency shift is measured during the measurement, it has to be converted into a hardness. And this can be done with a conversion curve you can see this here on, this, on the chart in the middle of the slide. That's an a exa example of such a conversion curve. And something very important to mention here is that this curve is actually only valid for uh, steel, unalloyed steel or low alloyed steel. What happens um, if you have other materials then? If you have other materials with another elastic modulus, you need to adjust this curve. Um, you can see this in also in the formula of the two principles. You have the formulas right below the chart and on the left side is the one for UCI. And you see here, beside the test load and the frequency shift, there's also the value of the elastic modulus in the formula. So also having an effect on the, on the measured hardness value. In comparison, the formula for the stationary wickers has only the test load and the indentation area, which is uh, usually measured by the diagonals of the indentation. Now this is something really important and you have to keep in mind when we are talking about UCI that this test method is dependent on the elastic modulus of the material. Um, in practical applications, and you want to overcome this, you have a different material than the, the standard steel, what you can do is to use the quick shift. Quick shift is a feature that we are introducing on the Ecotip 550, especially for, for the UCI. And this feature makes it very easy for the user to adjust the instrument for the material he wants to test. That means in a few steps and approximately 30 seconds, you can calibrate your instrument for your material. The only thing you need is a test block made of your material with approximately the same hardness and a known hardness value. Uh, important to mention here, UCI is, uh, you can, you have already seen the probe and important to mention is that it's really well suited for restricted spaces and um, spaces where you have limited accessibility because there's only very small, um, small and narrow tip to do the measurements. So that's uh, about the test principle. Now let's have a look at the unique features of our UCI instrument and also the accessories that are important for you to know as customers. So we have actually the, the electronic adjustable test load, which is really un unique and, and a and very, very important feature and it's yeah, patent pending. And we are really the, the only one with this feature in the market. In the market, and this allows you, as a user, to adjust the probe to your application. So, depending on the application you want to measure, uh, the one or the other test load is the right one, and 
helps you to achieve the best results. And with our instrument, you can just select it in the settings from the best one, while by other instruments, you have to buy different probes. And probably you buy initially the, the wrong probe and then have to spend another, uh, another amount of money to buy the right one. So this is really a, a good investment as you can cover all the applications with one probe. And we can really, the majority of the application, Christoph, are, right, as you said, right, right. covered. I would estimate that 95% of all applications can be solved with, with our probe. Right. You can select here from HV1 up to HV5. So we, we have a very wide range of test loads available. Um, another unique feature is the combined method. The, our Ecotip 550 has now three different test methods available. So that's the LEAP, the Portable Rockwell, and now also the UCI, all in one instrument. And a very nice benefit is actually that you can also combine this method with each other. That means, for example, UCI is material dependent. We just uh, said that you have to calibrate it for your material if it's not the standard steel. And this has to be done with a test block with a known hardness value. But if you don't have a, such a test block, what you can also do is a combination of UCI with Portable Rockwell. And Portable Rockwell is uh, material independent, and therefore you can um, combine the advantages of each method into one very nice, fully portable hardness testing solution. So you would use the Portable Rockwell to find out about the hardness right. of that sample and then program yeah. this into the indicating device and then measure with the UCI. Correct, correct. Then we have also unique um, software features and probably the most important one and the one I want to highlight here is the mapping wizard. Uh, the mapping wizard is available for all methods, so also for Leap and Portable Rockwell, but it especially makes sense for the UCI as it um, allows you to measure the hardness value very quickly and very accurate. And with the mapping wizard, the user can create easily hardness maps, so 2D maps, which can be probably used for uh, turbine blades, an application that we will have a closer look later in this presentation, or any other objects where a hardness map makes sense, for example, pressure vessels or maybe uh, pipes or other objects where it, where it is interested. So coming to the accessory, as all our hardness um, testing solutions, also the UCI probe is coming with a traceable reference test block. So prior to each hardness test, you should verify your instrument on a traceable test block to make sure that your instrument is working properly and showing you the correct values. And such a test block is actually shipped with all our uh, units. Then the second standard accessory also shipped with, with every unit is the roughness comparator plate. And this you need to verify that you have the proper surface preparation. So as for all hardness testing methods, also for UCI, you have to make sure that the surface roughness is good enough as otherwise the results could, be, could show high distortion or could be even completely wrong. And with our comparator plate, you can easily determine if the roughness is good enough or if you need to do some uh, surface preparation. The third accessory I would like to, to mention here is the special foot. And this accessory is not included in the kit. It's, a, it's an optional accessory, but um, actually it's highly recommendable. Here you see it here. And it helps to measure on flat surfaces and curved surfaces as it um, supports the user to have the probe nicely perpendicular to the surface, which is very important to, to measure um, reliable results. Uh, it further helps to reduce vibrations caused by the user as you, as you have to apply up to 50 newtons of test load and this could cause 
to, to certain vibrations in the probe and with this foot this can be significantly reduced. And the third nice advantage of this special foot is that the diamond indenter is protected and therefore any damages can be avoided. And you can see the magnets also on the flat surface, which I just showed you on, on, yes. in terms of stabilizing right. uh, when you measure on, uh, on flat uh, surfaces. Right. And something very uh, important to mention here is that there's actually only one foot, but you can turn around the support ring and then have actually three feet in one. So Combined re really again. highly recommended um, accessory. Very versatile. Like, yes, like yes. the instrument itself. Yes. Vers versatility is one of the uh, propositions in all aspects for this instrument that we would like to highlight uh, to you. Yes, that's um, so far about the accessories. And with uh, this knowledge, I would like now to hand over to Ali Rezov for the applications. Great. Thank you very much, Christoph and Ramin. Uh, and I would like to also welcome everyone to this webinar and thank you for joining us. And I'm sure uh, that you are just as excited as we are about the launch of a new Equity 550 UCI uh, probe. What I'm going to cover for you today is a number of applications uh, that uh, we've selected uh, for the purpose of this webinar. And, but at the same time, uh, the we, by addressing these applications, I'm sure um, you'll be able to uh, think outside the box a little bit and uh, uh, utilize these tools to overcome uh, a wide variety of, uh, of applications that are uh, out there. So without uh, further ado, let's uh, move, move on to um, uh, our application side of things. Our goal with Ecotip 550 since this launch as well has been to uh, try to uh, accommodate a wide variety of, of applications within the industry, whether we're looking at the oil and gas sector, uh, automotive, aerospace, you know, general manufacturing and machinery. Uh, like, uh, we've given you the right tool. So whether you're looking to use just a leap device, uh, or the portable rifle, or the UCI by itself to uh, accommodate your application. Or in some cases, you may have to use them in combination with each other to overcome certain difficulties, whether if it's geometrical, uh, material dependency, so on and so forth. Today, we've got some great examples uh, within our application that I'm sure you'll find interesting and useful. Uh, since this particular presentation is developed and designed for, for UCI in particular, uh, I have highlighted uh, uh, two standards for you uh, directly related to a UCI, ASTM A1038 and DIN 50159. These two standards are specifically developed for uh, the UCI test principle. And uh, I would certainly encourage you to, to, if you can get hold of these, I have a read of it. There's some great, very useful information in there, especially for your verification and your references, so on and so forth. In addition to that, especially for the combined method that we're going to cover later on, uh, there are some research works, some technical papers out there from ASME and and no test, uh, which uh, again I certainly encourage you to try to get hold of these technical papers and read them if combined method. Uh, for example, is an application that you'd like to take advantage of uh, by utilizing a portable rock ball with either UCI or your LEAP device. So on that note, let's, let's move on. Let's go to our uh, first application and um, uh, give you some, some examples here. Ramin and Christoph uh, earlier uh, mentioned the unique uh, uh, one of the most unique features of Ecotip uh, 550 UCI, which is the variable test load. Uh, there are uh, certainly uh, advantages on, on the fact that you only have to invest in a single probe, and then you have this uh, several different loads instead of having to buy uh, different probes 
that come to accommodate the uh, different loads that you perhaps need. But the question that might come up is that, so why do I have to have uh, HP1 and HP5 loads? And the answer to that is could be fairly simple. Uh, there are certain geometrical aspects of the samples that you're dealing with that dictate what test load you should be using. Uh, and that, uh, again, indicates the indentation size uh, that is um, created when you make the test. As a rule of thumb, uh, material thickness has to be 10 times the uh, indentation uh, depth. Uh, so again, these are one of the things that you, you will have to be selective when it comes to choosing your, uh, your loads, for example. Uh, like I said, the mass, uh, thickness, and actual hardness of the material and the sample that you're dealing with again dictates what sort of load you are using. So if you're on a site and dealing with fairly thin samples and all of a sudden you move to an object that has a larger, thicker, uh, uh, have a thicker uh, uh, sample later on, you'd be able to simply select uh, your desirable test load electronically and carry on doing the test. So it's again all about efficiency, productivity, and speed um, of your workflow there. Uh, moving on to our uh, second application, it's probably one of the most talked about commonly used application for the UCI. And that's when you're dealing with uh, weld, um, heat affected zone, uh, inspection, quality control, uh, verification, let's say. The common issue that we see in uh, uh, welding process is exposure of the base material to heat that could potentially lead to its failure. I've got two pictures on the bottom uh, right for you. You can see the cross section of the weld when uh, the crack could have gone in any di any direction. And the second picture uh, is a surface picture where you can see the crack in parallel to the to the weld. So these cracks could happen in any uh, shape, form, and go, could go in in any direction. What we have done with the UCI, we started with the base material from the right, as you saw in the animation, and started doing testing, uh, reaching the heat affected zone and going on top of the weld. The area that I've highlighted, you can clear see, clearly see the crack. And on the left hand side, so right hand side of the, of the uh, highlighted area, uh, you can see the weld, which is in almost perfect condition. But the crack has started. Uh, from the heat affected zone. If you look at the hardness trend uh, uh, that is indicated for the heat affected zone, you can see that it's significantly harder than, than the weld and uh, the base material. Uh, this information is basically uh, telling us that this particular area has been exposed to heat potentially uh, at a longer period of time and over, over certain intervals during the perhaps manufacturing. Uh, welding process, uh, heat treatment, so on and so forth. And these heat treatments over and over has caused it to become harder and uh, therefore more brittle. And as uh, let's assume that this was a pipe, the pipe has been pressurized, um, it has failed, and the crack has appeared. So by utilizing the profile view with the UCI probe in negative 550, you, you'll be able to simply and easily plot this profile trend of hardness and identify the problematic areas and perhaps even prevent it before it leads to a failure. Let's move to the third uh, application. And this is a very interesting one. We talked about conversions. We talked about correlation. Let's say that I've got a sample uh, duplex uh, steel and uh, that I don't have a correlation for it, conversion for it in with the UCI probe. So I have taken this sample, sent it to a lab, it's a single sample, so I'm going to use one point shift, and it has been tested. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose my parameters. In this case, I'm going to use my UCI probe. And for the conversion, I'm going to use the ASTM conversion. You can see here, I would just input the value that has come from the lab from the stationary machine, in this case, it's 325. And there is uh, basically 
45 bit is different in comparison to the default. Now I'll go to my material from the measurement menu and simply choose the duplex uh, conversion that I created. If I go back to my scales, I can now define what I want to see them as my primary or secondary scale. In this case, I'm going to, let's say, stick to the default conversion curve or UCI for uh, primary scale. And then the secondary scale, I'm going to choose the Vickers that we just created, uh, the uh, custom conversion we just created. As I go ahead and do the test, you can see that uh, the new results on the right-hand column uh, are the higher results, the one that we just uh, uh, created, the one-point uh, shift. And later on, when you go to do such tests, you don't have to repeat this process again. You have got the correlation for duplex in your device. You just have to recall it from the um, material menu and go ahead and do the test. This whole process. Um, for the sake of this presentation, it took me uh, probably a minute and a half, two minutes. And it's as simple as that for you to do such conversions as well for any material, not necessarily for duplex, but uh, in canal, uh, titanium, so on and so forth. Now, let's move into our fourth application. And um, Christoph briefly mentioned the mapping wizard. And, and uh, again, that's a very unique uh, uh, feature of Ecotech 550 that we uh, developed quite recently. Let's assume that we got very large components, and these components could be pressure vessels, heat exchangers, so on and so forth. And as an example, these uh, components, these heat exchangers, could they get placed into large industrial ovens for heat treatment. And when they come out, they need to be verified and um, or consistent consistency of, of, of heat treatment. So with the mapping wizard, you'll be able to uh, very simply and easily define a grid size and also define your tolerances. So basically what is good hardness, what is too hard or too soft, so on and so forth. And color code them at the same time. So when you go ahead and do a test, you can easily plot a, a like a the, uh, view of, of your hardness strength and you'll be able to identify potential prop problematic areas again which you can go easily back to with your uh, uh, let's say portable rock fall or other devices to perhaps do a combined method if needs be to uh, find out the exact hardness value and uh, uh, find out what has actually gone wrong in them areas again these are examples we're giving you here you can use the mapping uh, wizard for any other application where you need to map up a hardness, uh, map, uh, have, have a hardness map for a particular area on a, on a sample. Let's go to our fifth application. And um, uh, this, uh, this application I've chosen for you here is uh, for turbine blades. Again, historically, this has been a common application. Uh, the reason for that is that there are certain samples when you do, when you have uh, complex geometrical um, uh, aspects. In fact, when you're dealing with uh, uh, complex curvatures, uh, traditional uh, lead device, for example, may not be suitable. At the same time, portable rock fall uh, may not you, uh, you 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 may find that it wouldn't necessarily be perpendicular when you're doing testing. We've zoomed in on here for you, so you can actually see because of the test principle that, that UCI uh, probes utilize, you can easily do the hardness testing here on, on, on a, in this particular blade. You can even uh, do a profile of hardness or even uh, map out the entire blade uh, and do the testing uh, before sending this uh, uh, particular blade for additional testing, whether it's a tensile test, you know, Pull test zone and so forth when it gets uh, uh, cut into bits and goes through a series of uh, other type of quality control inspections. But uh, such hardness testing uh, can be done right from the beginning uh, without significantly uh, uh, affecting the, the integrity of the of the blade before it could potentially be passed into other phases of uh, quality control and inspection, um, assuming. Uh, there is a batch test going on when selected number of these blades are, are chosen for, for that particular test, for verification. 
Now, let's go uh, to our sixth application. We talked about combined method. Both uh, Ramin and Christoph mentioned it. Again, this is very unique to Prosec and Equative 550. And how this actually becomes possible is having a, a portable probe in your arsenal, uh, uh, which allows you to do hardness testing based on true indentation, and that's portable rock wall. By utilizing portable rock wall, you kind of overcome in two uh, main contributing factors uh, that influence both LEAP and UCI, especially when it comes to conversion. And the uh, first one is the actual geometrical aspects of your sample, i.e. your mass and your thickness. And the second thing is the uh, modulo modulus of elasticity. Christoph uh, 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 very firmly emphasized the importance of, of elasticity and its influence on uh, UCI test principles. Uh, now, because portable rock will be based on indentation, it's a lot less material dependent. So what you can actually do, you can take a reference value, as you can see on the uh, screenshot we got there, and then correlate your UCI device to that value. Same thing applies to lead. And then based on that, on the next screenshot, you will find that there is a, a shift or movement of, in this particular case, 24 wickets. So you have created the correlation based on that particular sample of mass, thickness, and uh, material property or modulus of elasticity. So, and that's a huge, huge advantage where you can actually perform such procedures on site, create your correlation, and do your testing uh, without having to section a particular pipe to take it back to a lab to do a stationary testing on it and then create your correlation, which is a long uh, uh, procedure uh, and quite difficult in, in many cases. Let's assume that we have done this. Uh, combined method now and created a curve. Now we've got a sample for you, which um, we're going to perform some testing on, and we're going to plot a uh, profile uh, view for you as we do the test. In a moment, you'll be able to see the actual test on on the on the on, on the on, on the camera that we've got there, and um, we're going to start uh, doing this test from the base material. And then move closer uh, to the well uh, where the heat of the zone area is possibly at. So you can see we're doing some tests on the base material there. And now we're going to move very close to the weld and do some tests on uh, the heat affected zone. So you may find that you do number of impacts and one of them is significantly out. In this case, you can simply just select that particular indentation and uh, choose that you want to redo that. So this gives you the, the assurance that you know you're you're being fairly consistent with your. As you can see now, we're very thin tolerant. We can carry on now going into the well. So the hardness trend that we are seeing here indicates that this particular uh, a sample is uh, the hardness trend isn't uh, significantly out, so we not uh, we shouldn't necessarily be worried about it. But what you check here is that based on the procedures and the specification that comes with that particular material, uh, you will have a certain tolerances that you have to be uh, you have to meet. Uh, for example, right on that uh, note, this brings us to the end part of the application uh, what we'll do we we'll certainly take all your questions at the end uh, I would like to pass you back to uh, Ramin where he's going to talk to us about uh, all the sales and service side of things that uh, uh, Prosec got to offer for you with the new UCI probe over to you Ramin thank you very much Ali thank you very much uh, Christoph uh, for presenting these exciting uh, functionalities and features. Uh, now I will be covering uh, also very important information such as the price, 
and uh, also the sales and service, which we mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, as well as the uh, marketing events and uh, documentation we will be providing uh, with this uh, new product launch. In terms of pricing, uh, we will be at uh, below 8,000 francs for the Ecotip 550 UCI kit. Um, and uh, if you would like uh, a quotation in other currencies, if you like a quotation, any quotation, please get in touch either with our sales network, our valued partners, which are worldwide, you can find the, uh, which are present worldwide, you can find the list on our website, or also, uh, of course, a Prosex subsidiary, uh, where we will be happy then to send you a quotation with all the details and based on your uh, needs. Uh, Christoph and, and Ali both mentioned uh, this combined method, which is a unique selling proposition of our offering. So using a, a Rockwell, for example, together with a UCI. And uh, we would like to make this even more compelling for you by offering a 20% bundle discount should you buy from us both, for example, a UCI and a portable Rockwell product. Um, so this is a very, very uh, attractive uh, offer. In addition to this, so because we are talking about investment and cost of ownership, I would also like to remind those of you who have bought an Ecotip 550 Leap a product, maybe um, uh, end of last year or six months ago, that they can use the same exact indicating device. All what they need to purchase from us is the new UCI probe and then do also a, 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 a firmware update, uh, which can be done very easily by connecting their device uh, through the internet and, and following the uh, um, um, uh, instructions, basically, uh, on the... On the uh, 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 software uh, on the PC. So this is this is very very uh, exciting, I would say, because uh, very attractive pricing, very attractive possibilities. If you would like to to combine these uh, these methods, which you have seen in the presentation, we offer Prosec differentiate itself in the market. We are really the market leader, not only in cutting edge technology, which we propose but also for after-sales service and warranty and calibration. Uh, we take care of our customers throughout the whole product life cycle um, or, or lifetime um, for, for this. Uh, besides the, the, the quality, which we are very proud of, should you ever happen to have a problem, you can either send or contact a Prosex subsidiary or contact one of our uh, certified service centers in our sales network, in our sales partner network. They will take care of analyzing the problem that you have, uh, analyzing the product which you will send them. So in many, 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 many markets, we provide also local support, either directly or indirectly through our sales network. Again, there you can go on our website and you will see where our certified um, uh, service centers are, are, are located. Should the probe be outside of warranty and should you have a problem and the probe be outside of the warranty period, we offer you the option to buy a new probe once you have returned the defective one at a 50% discount uh, of the list price. And important here maybe to mention that this is a very fast process. So it won't take uh, several weeks to analyze the probe, repair the probe. Correct. You send in the defective one and within one working day it will be decided if you can have a new one for the, for the reduced We're price. very fast with the, with the after self service. Yes. We're very, 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 very fast uh, in, that, uh, in that aspect. Um, now, in terms of more on the marketing side um, and uh, also on the uh, getting more information about this product, of course, uh, one option is uh, for you to contact us, to contact Prosec, to contact our, our sales network uh, partners uh, to get a, a demonstration uh, on this instrument, either by Skype or uh, uh, live or through the events. And talking about the events, we will be organizing many seminars uh, together with our partners, 
we will be attending many events uh, worldwide. To find out more about those, please consult the ProSec calendar, uh, which is available on ProSec.com, the events calendar. Um, the two big events uh, which we will be participating in the next couple of months, one of them is in Stuttgart at uh, the control exhibition, the other one is in Munich in June uh, at the World Conference for uh, NDT. Uh, please uh, visit us uh, there. Um, we are very present on the social media. Uh, we have a Facebook page, please follow us. Please share the post, we, are, we do postings twice a week. We have a YouTube channel uh, with many videos, promotional, instructional. We have actually also a new video in this context on the UCI. Please go now to the YouTube channel, have a look at it and give us uh, your, your feedback. We would love to, to hear from you. We're also present on, 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 on Twitter. In terms of the application booklet, would you like to give some, some words there, uh, Christophe? Yes, <clears throat> maybe you already know the Ecotip application booklet. It's already available uh, for free download on our website since for, for, for one year approximately and we just updated it now with, uh, with the UCI so uh, if you are interested in UCI then please uh, download this booklet and you will find a lot of helpful information in this, uh, in this PDF. Great, so this uh, concludes uh, the main part of the presentation. I hope you have uh, gotten all the uh, details you need and also are uh, very excited about this new product uh, that we are launching. And uh, I would like to now open the Q&A session. Uh, please take this unique opportunity to ask us um, questions, which will then be uh, answered live to you now. Application questions, commercial, on the commercial side, any questions you may have really, please, uh, uh, use the Q&A box on the right-hand side of the screen to uh, type it in. If necessary, we can open also the audio connection if you want to directly speak to us. Great. Uh, thank you, Christoph and Ramin. And uh, we already have some questions here. And as you mentioned, the Q&A box is open. Please send us questions there. And if you want to talk to us via audio, again, let us know and we'll open it and open the audio for, for you. The first question I got here is for Christoph. Um, could you show us how easy it is to change the test load on the Ecotip 550 for the UCI? Yes, sure. I will switch for this to the, the instrument again. And you see here in the upper right corner the probe type. And here it says UCI HV1. So actually, or at the moment, we are using the probe with HV1 test load. Now, within this measurement series, we cannot change it. So within one measurement series, you can have only one test load. But if I start a new one, now I can go to the settings here. And you see here the setting test load. If you tap on this field, you get this dialog where you can adjust the test load. So I can increase it now here with the, with the arrows up and down, or I can also enter the, the value directly over the keypad. Um, let's change it now for, for HV5. And if I go back, I see now on my measurement screen, the probe type has changed and it is now UCI HV5. So, easy as that, very fast, very easy. Um, also, with each me measurement series, the probe type is stored. So, also afterwards, you will still see if the results were measured with HV5, HV1, HV3, or whatever. Great. Thanks a lot, Christoph. I've got another very good question, actually. And is uh, I have a need for specific uh, uh, customized reporting. How can Equitive UCI help me create such reports? That's a good question. Um, Equitive 550 already offers this feature of um, PDF reports that then can be created directly on the instrument. So there's no need to connect the instrument to a, to a PC. And 
there's also a possibility to fully customize this report. So on the instrument, you can uh, change all the settings for the reports. And there you have a lot of options, so you can fully customize it. You can say, okay, I want to have the bar graph, I want to have the mean value, I want to have the, the operator name, everything you can customize. You can even add your own company logo in to this report. So this very nice um, feature that is available on the instrument already for six months or so. Great. Uh, thank you. I have got another question here. It's uh, again for Christoph. Uh, is the verification procedure for UCI similar to Lieb and Portable Rockfall, i.e. using the verification wizard in negative cycle? Yes, the process is, is actually more or less the same as for Lieb or Portable Rockwell. Um, it's also included in the, in the wizard on the Equity 550. Of course, the requirements are slightly different, so there are different standards, as you have uh, mentioned before during the webinar. Um, but these uh, standards are also in the wizard, and the user can just select from the different standards. So actually, it's, yeah, it's working according to the same principle, but slightly different settings are applicable. Great. I have got uh, another question here, and uh, could you uh, please mention some details regarding national and international standards, as well as specifications for UCI probe and principle? I believe we had it in one of the slides right at the beginning of the application. Um, we can go back maybe to this slide. This one here. Uh, I mean, it's your slide, and you already mentioned it. That there is the ASTM standard, the A1038, describing the UCI test method. And there you can find all the information about the method, how it has to be used, the requirements on the test samples, how to do a verification. It's everything described there. And a similar standard is actually the DIN standard, the German standard, uh, 5159, and gives approximately the same information, just in a slightly different way. And it's only in German available. Great. Thanks, Christoph. And one additional quick note here. Also, uh, ASTM E140 is a conversion standard which UCI utilizes for conversion. And uh, the ISO 18265 is also a conversion standard. So in the instruments, when we were doing the conversion uh, application, you had the option of choosing between the two. I have another question, Christoph, here. Yes. Are there any special requirements on the reference blocks? I assume this is the, the geometry of, 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 the, uh, uh, of the blocks and the hardness levels. What hardness levels of blocks do you offer? Um, <clears throat> there are special requirements on the test blocks. So actually with UCI, UCI is measuring in, in Wicker scale, and actually you can use Wicker's hardness test blocks. But as we mentioned during the webinar, the, it is not a stationary method, it is a quasi-static method, and it requires certain thickness and certain mass of the test piece. And therefore also for the test blocks, it is recommended that it has a certain size and it should be approximately 80 millimeter in diameter and more than 15 millimeter thickness. And our test blocks, I can show you this here. We are offering three different UCI test blocks. All of them are fulfilling this um, requirement. So they have 80 millimeter diameter and 16 millimeter thickness. And we are offering three different hardness levels. So the standard test block that is included in the units is approximately 850 wickers. But then we are also offering one with 550 and 300 wickers. Something very important for these test blocks is that they have the correct elastic modulus. So as we mentioned during the webinar, 
it is important to have this uh, 210 gigapascal and of course our test blocks are also coming with this uh, elastic modulus. Um, maybe to add here, the test blocks are calibrated according to the ISO standard for wickers and are calibrated in HV5. But we also offer uh, additional the HV1 calibration. If a customer is using his probe um, mainly with HV1, then we recommend also to have HV1 calibration on the test block. But default calibration is uh, HV5. Fantastic. So the test blocks are also traceable, basically, as you said. Yes, yep. they are calibrated by a traceable um, facility. Great. I've got a question here for Ramin. Uh, regarding the warranty, I believe, I'm going to read the question and try to simplify it for you a little bit. So, uh, the 50% uh, discount that you mentioned, uh, is that also applicable to LEAP or and portable Russell, or is it only for the UCI probes? And if you could reiterate, perhaps, how does it work? Uh, how, how easy it is to go through this procedure in the unlikely event that uh, there is a problem. As you uh, mentioned, uh, Ali, it's extremely unlikely. <laughs> <coughs> so how it would work out is um, uh, if you have ever, uh, uh, again, we, let's uh, really take the uh, uh, scenario where it's uh, not in the warranty, uh, not under warranty anymore. Uh, you would uh, send us uh, back the probe uh, or send it to a certified service center. Uh, they would then um, offer you 50% off on the lease price of a new UCI probe. So this is again if it's not uh, under um, warranty anymore. So this is how it, how it would work out at it. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Ramin. That was uh, very clear. Uh, I, I believe we have covered uh, all of your questions. In case I have missed anything, please resend me your questions um, so I can put it through to Ramin and, Ra uh, and, um, Ramin and Christoph. As far as I'm aware, we have covered all the questions. So. Um, On that note, I would like to say uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you can find the UCI probe uh, useful and uh, applicable to your application. Any problem, any questions, please contact us via webinar at prosec.com. And it's uh, goodbye from me, and I'll pass you back on to my colleagues in Switzerland very much for attending with us today the webinar on the new EcoTip UCI. We are very excited about this product. Uh, you have seen many of the unique features that we are offering now. So please uh, contact us, please contact our sales network. We will be very happy to uh, tell you more and uh, send you a quotation. Uh, Organize a customer visit. Yes, so if meet you, you want at to the see events, the probe live. meet you at any of the events uh, that we, we mentioned that you can see on the ProSec website. Thanks again. Thank you for uh, participating to this event. One little thing. I'm very sorry. I know we said goodbye, but there's another question just came through. So since we're live, we might as well cover it. Uh, and this question goes to Christoph. Uh, what is the maximum roughness the UCI probe can accurately perform a measurement before you take it by crystal. Okay, maybe the answer takes a bit longer here. Um, the roughness, the acceptable roughness depends on the hardness of the material and of course also on the test load that will be used for the, for the measurement. So um, I would like to go back to the accessory slide and show you the roughness comparator plate. I don't know if you can see, uh, if you can read the values on this plate. 
what we have here in the middle field, this one is for UCI HV1 and the average roughness of 3.2 micrometers is uh, acceptable. For UCI HV5 on the right side is a 12.5 micrometers average roughness which is acceptable. Um, these values, um, as, as I mentioned before, it depends also on the hardness of the material and this Roughness values are for uh, an average steel, which is most often measured with the UCI, so for example for um, heat affected zones and similar applications. But if you, if you are now measuring something very hard, with let's say 500 wickers and higher, then this roughness needs to be uh, improved. As you have lower indentation depths, you'll, that means also that you need to have a better prepared surface. As a rule of thumb, uh, the ASTM standard asks for um, a maximum average roughness of 30% of the indentation depths of the, of the measurement. So this, this should be taken as a, as a rule of rule thumb, thumb. To, to check that. Or the easiest way is actually with this roughness comparator plate, but just be aware if you have something um, really hard that it can be um, a higher requirement. I hope that well, answers the question. So again, uh, I believe we now covered all the questions once again. Goodbye from me and thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, goodbye. See you soon. Yeah.